the China Indonesia bilateral relationship make uh, have made a lot of progress uh, in recent years. Uh, that has become a great model for China's advocation for a new type of state-to-state uh, -state relationship, uh, which featured mutual respect, win-win uh, cooperation, and also featured justice, equality. Uh, you know that actually, as I said, uh, there are a lot of projects are on the way. And to be honest, uh, uh, on all those projects, I'm quite optimistic that through the efforts of both sides, uh, they will be accomplished in a very high quality way, in a very timely way, uh, as, uh, as wished by people on both sides. Mm. And uh, you know that actually, uh, every now and then you could hear some noises or you could hear some comments uh, from outside on those joint ventures. But what's most important is actually it is for the people, for the local people to make the real judgment. Mm. They are in the position to say what is good, what is not good. For example, like the Jakarta Bandung uh, high speed railway. On the one hand, you know that actually that were quite a lot, the flow of goods, the flow mm -hmm. of people on this most uh, densely populated area of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. You know that actually the commuting, uh, commutation uh, time now from Jakarta to Bandung is more than three hours. But when the, this uh, speed train is put into operation, it will be shortened to just around 40 minutes. So you know how effectively it could facilitate actually the business, the flow of people yeah. in this part of, the, of Indonesia. That said, actually the railway per se will create 5,000, more than 5,000 jobs along this railway. Definitely that will be indigenous people. That will be Indonesia jobs. There are very few, there are very few Chinese technicians involved in the construction. And I can tell you, after the construction, all those technicians and the workers with the expertise, definitely they are going back, going mm -hmm. back to China. You could see that very often China and all the Asian countries, developing countries in this region, we advocate strongly that we should, our own way of, our own path of development should be respected. We don't want others to pretend that they know us much better than us, mm -hmm. than ourselves. We don't want them to dictate us what we should do and we are not supposed to do. And you, on multilateral forum, you could see that China and the developing countries in this region, we also advocate a lot that we deserve the equal rights to development. We don't want to just be put at the lower end of the industrial chain. People in this region deserve the equal rise to prosperity and a much better of life. Mm. So you can see that from the, from the heart, bottom of the heart, people here cherish a lot. That's the basis that we could work together. G20 is a multilateral forum. And just like China, Indonesia insists that G20 should stick to real multilateralism. Mm. And Indonesia is also strongly against the practice of imposing unilateralism on multilateral forum. And Indonesia still insists on that the agenda, the main theme of the G20 summit should be focused on what really the international community are supposed to address.